Well, the CBC has done it again. Apparently, Cabrutus is the leader of a cyber bully campaign. Well, we're going to start here with Lunar uh, Archivist, um, someone I've followed for quite a while. They were around uh, a long time ago, and they've, uh, they've showcased a lot of CBC stories in the past. But this one takes the cake. If you're interested in knowing what is going on in the gamer industry, subscribe to this channel because I cover a lot of this stuff going on here. The picture you know below me uh, being Kai Budis, the person that he uses this as his avatar. Uh, he made a Steam curator page about Sweet Baby Inc. saying don't play these games because Sweet Baby Inc. as a company were involved with these games. Then after that page was very small, was going under the radar, no one knew they existed, Chris Kindred of Sweet Baby Inc., the a employee of Sweet Baby Inc., attacked Cryburutus on social media, yelling and pretty much telling people to go flag down this page because it showcased their resume, showcased this company's resume. And this is somebody in Brazil that said, do not play these games because this company is involved. And this company has uh, threatened, has blackmailed, has terrified companies to get their way to change the narrative of these games. What CBC here has done they're trying to flip the script and say Kai Budis is a cyber bully. They're trying to say he is the leader of this so-called cult. But in the process, I fear CBC is looking to get a lawsuit if they don't correct this crap that they're shoving down our throats. Have it translated from French to English because this is the Montreal or the Quebec version of CBC putting this up here in an app like form save time read the short too woke a montreal based gaming studio victimized by harassment first off they're not being victimized by harassment they are the ones that requested a harassment campaign to be started against cry Buddhist here over the Steam curation page. The small video game consulting studio Sweet Baby Inc. is the target of an extensive cyberbullying campaign, including death threats. If they're getting death threats, send them to the police. Let the police deal with the death threats. We haven't seen any of these threats actually bubble up on social media over the last couple weeks here that this has been going on. Um, as for the cyberbullying campaign, this isn't a cyberbullying campaign. This is gamers in revolt. This is people telling the company that what they've done is absolute trash to the games industry, to the gamers alike. The, these, this company pretty much is telling gamers that they're being racist if they don't accept this form of narrative design. Thousands of internet users, including influential personalities like Elon Musk, accuse him of propagating his woke agenda uh, and policies of inclusion, diversity, and equity in video games he collaborates on. So I don't know why they're saying he, because it's a company, and Kim Belair is the CEO of Sweet Baby Inc. So I don't know why they're putting in he. I'm guessing this is some translation error from uh, French to English uh, as particular. Now, Elon Musk, being one of the most influential people in the world, is not Kai Budis. No, no, apparently down here at the bottom, it says Kai Budis, creator of Sweet Baby Inc. Detected Movement and leader of a cyber bullying campaign. CBC, this is absolutely falsehood. This is defamatory and should be sought after in a, in a court of law. They, CBC is well known for their losses in the court of law currently against the political leaders of this country. Sweet Baby Inc. imposes political allegiances uh, as well as approach to equity, diversity, and inclusion, D-I-D-E, -E, so it's D-E-I, it's the same thing, in its games. I started noticing patterns in some games like ugly women and weakened ma male characters so that women look stronger. And this is what's been going on. One person's being propped up while the other one's being taren down, all because of their gender, their race, the, the color of their skin, everything else, because they're trying to I don't know, stack the boxes in favor of one over another. It's discrimination and it's absolutely disgusting 
what we're seeing in the games industry right now. 350,000 people. It's the number of people who subscribe to the list on Steam's platform called Sweet Baby Inc. Detected, which lists the video games on which the Montreal studio, its members have collaborated. Our email box have gone from a few messages a day to hundreds. We've received thousands of emails from people who want us to disappear, said David Badar, vice president and co-founder of Sweet Baby Inc. I'd like to see that actually. I would like to see that uh, that email uh, list balloon to where it is now. I, I I didn't even know they had an email out there that you could email this company. Uh, so the fact that this is something that they're claiming, um, I don't find that normal because if they've gone from a few a few messages a day to hundreds of messages a day all over this situation from around the world, I find that hard to believe right now. I, I have more belief that they would get more messages on Twitter than they would get emails in this case. Some of the games which Sweet Baby Inc. collaborated with. Well, this, this is uh, an, another resume. This is the same thing Kaibutis did by putting them into a, a curator group. So Suicide Squad killed the Justice League probably is the one that really shot this off because Suicide Squad was an absolute buggy mess, an absolute horribly written story. Uh, this coming from this narrative design team that rewrote part of the story and because they did the rewrites those rights have to be in there long before the game is shot before the voice lines are done and it, the game completely failed it bombed uh like many of these narrative designs or sensitivity readers do to many of the uh, the influential video games out there dungeons and dragons books everything like that Alan Wake 2, Spider-Man 2. Spider-Man 2 had a lot of a lot of problems. Uh, and there was a lot of talk with Miles Morales in Spider-Man 2. How Miles Morales is now Spider-Man, but Miles Morales is his own character. And in that sense, you don't want to be taking up the mantle of being Spider-Man. You want to be a Spider-Man, but not the Spider-Man of Peter Parker. Uh, Goodbye Volcano High, Assassin's Creed Valhalla, and God of War Ragnarok. Um, we are really doing a job of consulting we are engaging by customers who have already made their game more inclusive and want to be creditable from david bedar vice president of sweet baby inc gamergate 2 oh no not gamergate 2 you know the the whole thing of uh gamers being in revolt of something that is absolutely ridiculous in in the entire uh industry in 2014 a cyber harassment campaign challenged the objectivity of video game reviews and more broadly the place of women in video game industry what it went after they they have part of this here what it was was there was journalists journalists were being paid to write good reviews for video games and thus misleading the public and the consumer eye it was a consumer advocacy uh movement within the gamer industry but also at the same time you have uh players zoe quinn anita sarkeesian uh britanna Wu, all all coming down and saying they were being harassed in the exact same way that's going on right now with sweet baby inc even though they they took out things they harassed other people someone off themselves over the situation and everything like that it didn't it wasn't just an easy simple solution it created a lot of dust up and a lot of story driven stuff going on with narrative and everything like that and really this is now an extension of that because the people that were involved in the original one from those people you can link this new company sweet baby inc all the way back to them. The starting point, a sex story between a game designer and a journalist denounced by their ex, her ex-spouse, which drove uh, someone to actually off themselves. Um, it's been very violent. Violent? Uh, well, I guess someone taking their own life. Uh, as soon as there, and there was talk, it created waves everywhere. So a lot of talk online. Talk online is not violent. Uh, says Maud Bofant, video game and gamification researcher at UQAM, which I would make dollar bets that this 
QUAM is a government government organization funding uh, the extremism in video games that we all know Homeland Security and the Canadian government is also funding at this point. Powder Fire, Sweet Baby Inc. team is gradually coming to the idea that harassment and threats it receives is a new reality. No one has resigned at the small team of Sweet Baby Inc. and no contract has been lost since the start of the saga. Well, as Elon Musk put it, we cannot wait for them to go broke soon enough. There is absolutely no way this can continue from Sweet Baby Inc. with their narrative design changes that they're doing in video games right now. We're seeing massive layoffs across the board and it seems these style of activists are on the top of the chopping block as well. Kybrutus is not the leader of this cyberbully campaign. There is no cyberbully campaign. There is a backlash against Sweet Baby Inc. trying to silence Kaibutis and many other people in this industry right now that are saying no. This is the, your definition of what's called a cry bully. A little kid that sits there and hits, hits on the door or hits on their parents or hits on a stranger and then when they get backlash, when they get told not to stop it, when they get told to no, say no, when you say no to that child, that child then sits there and cries and becomes the absolute victimhood of everything that is going on right now. And this is where that term comes from. Sweet BB Inc. are nothing but cry bullies and all they want to do is sit there and yell and scream of how much of a victimhood they are doing. Well, they have put themselves in this situation. They harassed Kaibutis, and this has been going on constantly. The CBC is now running for them because they are both based out of Montreal at this point. Uh, a very, very not nice place, oh, oh, ultimately. Um, I, I've heard some horror stories of how they are treated in Montreal because they are mostly French speaking and they're very prejudiced against people that don't speak French and very much so. And I've heard that throughout my life. I've lived in Canada all my life. I'm in Alberta. It, it, there is a very, very strong divide between Alberta and Quebec when it comes to the provincial uh, identity between the, uh, the, between the people. Um, it, it, it's very strange in that sense. And Quebec gets everything they want out of the Canadian government because Alberta right now pretty much funds Quebec to be to stay as a province. But that's a different story. Anyway, Kaibutis is not a leader. He is not, he's not the leader of the so-called cyberbully campaign. There is no cyberbully campaign against Sweet Baby Inc. That is the conspiracy right now in everything. Even though if you read CBC, if you read what Cy Sweet Baby Inc., they're trying to make this sound like it's a conspiracy that the video gamers are, are, are pushing along. No, we're not pushing a conspiracy here at this point. They're being government funded, which you can, if you follow the money, you will follow it down there and you know it's there. They, and the stuff that we know with, uh, with all this, with the CBC is absolutely pathetic. This is CBC is a very, very funded organization through the Canadian government. They are the Canadian broadcasting system. The CBC really used to stand for something. They, when I grew up as a kid, I remember Sundays would, I, I would sit down and be able to watch like a Disney movie uh, or during the week we'd be able to watch hockey games. You don't get any of that anymore. You get to watch like Coronation Street, sometimes the news, but which is very biased at this point. Uh, they're, they're a shell of their former selves. And ultimately, uh, because they become a arm of the government at this point, they're no longer uh, ref reputable as a media organization. And until things change with that, until there's a change up here in Canada, we're going to see CBC continue to spew out not factual situations uh, like we're seeing right now. Anyway, I'm your proud Canadian Phoenix Cinder Shadow. I'm signing off here. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I will see you again very soon.